Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another video. This video is back and prepared with the NGXU. Now, I know I have given a review and have given somewhat of a negative review on it. Um, but I did say if FS2 Crew does release um, their version for the NGXU or their product for NGXU, I will fly it um, without an issue. And uh, they have released it, and so we're going to use it today. As you can see in the top, let me hide the menu. But first, I want to guys, I just before we get started here, um, I'm probably going to skip to when we're just about to push back. Um, but if you guys want to see a tutorial on this, um, on the NJXU with the FS crew, I'm happy to do it. This is the reason why I didn't do a tutorial for the original NGX, because I was waiting for the NGXU, um, and now it has, so I would be ready to do a tutorial if some people are into that. The next thing is um, the FPS here are not as good, in the, at least in the cockpit they aren't. You can see 45 frames right now, but in the cockpit they're, pretty, they're 20. That like I can show you, it's like they are pretty much 20 FPS, and uh, I've turned traffic off, so I'm not sure what I need to do here. Um, the settings, now you're probably wondering, it might be the settings, and it could be, honestly, it could be. But these settings, this is a very perfect comparison. These settings, except for two, are pretty much exactly like X Plane. Um, I researched what X Plane settings exactly do and how much they affect um, the look of the sim. And so I changed it, the graphic settings, exactly as to what I have my X Plane settings set to, except for here. Um, the only thing I don't have in X-Plane are simulation objects, which is pretty much nothing. So yeah. So, first thing is display, FXAA, X-Plane has this, so I turned it on. Anti-aliasing, four times super sampling, and four times anastrophic filtering. This is this is what I have set to X-Plane as well, and then texture resolution is dependent on the X-Plane uh, add-ons you use, but it's normally at 4K. World, this is where Things get a bit diff interesting. Objects on an X plane are set to max, and there are a ton more objects, even at max, than prepared can do at max. So I've set everything at max except for the LOD. Uh, the LOD I've tried to set it as, as similar to what X plane uses, um, and that is high. Next is terrain. X plane does not, even though it looks like they can do this, um, but default X plane terrain. Um, uses around 30 centimeters per, actually they use 60 centimeters per pixel but i'd want to use 30 centimeters per pixel and everything else here should be pretty much what x-plane uses as well water detail low because i don't change i didn't change any x-plane water details and the clouds are always reflective and special effects i'm not sure how much this effect how much this affects prepared but i doubt it affects it barely anything lighting like I said here, pretty much everything here is just like an X-Plane, even the shadow quality and dynamic lighting and dynamic reflection set to low. It's pretty much it as good as possible. And then with weather, um, this is now an active sky thing. An active sky I don't have set very high. Um, I think I've set like three or four cloud layers and uh, draw distance aren't too, too high. And then cloud coverage is maximum, just like an X-Plane. I mean, if I'm using X-Enviro, um, I can pretty much try and max out X active sky and pretty much be on the same page and this can this is a good comparison to explain on how I prepare performs now so far I've been getting about the same FPS except for here here in Boston though Boston I thought was the most intensive scenery you can use nope it is Amsterdam it is the most complex so if you have scenery complexity I think set to max um, this is a good place to test that, and you can see 20 FPS is what I get. So, this is a very fair comparison, and I think I'm going to keep my settings here. Uh, this is comparing for X planes, what I have the settings set to there, to compare to prepared here. Alright, here we are at a different gate. Um, I had to do something before I continued, and uh, so that's why we're at a different gate. I'm not sure why the gate is not connecting correctly. I think that's an issue with the NGXU. 
which PMG needs to fix. And another issue that I've noticed that they need to fix is the flight recorder test also is not correctly functioning or not functional correctly, whatever. I don't know. And I think the speed brake lever here, uh, it is down, but there's still the speed brake arm light on. I'm not sure if that's a bug or if it's like a feature that sometimes the 737 has where it also bugs out the real one. I'm not sure, but uh, those are things I just noticed. Or three. And, um, yeah. I still think um, I'm not using Tomato Shade right now. I am using PTA. And I still think that the cockpit is extremely dark. And it just, it looks, I mean, the cockpit itself doesn't look terrible, but it just looks, like this all looks very blurry. I'm not sure why. Hi yeah. guys, here oh. is the load sheet for you. Thanks. No problem. Have a safe flight. Interesting. So we just entered reserve fuel. 149, 143, and 148. Set 148 in here. Down nav can be armed. Check progress page 136. That is fine. That's really on. Okay, see what signs coming on. Before start procedure, check. Before start checklist. Start sequence is two then one. Check. Roger facing northeast release brakes. Brakes released. Okay, commencing pushback. Start engine two. Starting two? Start engine one. Starting one. Alright, the push is complete. Please set the brakes. Brakes are set. Before taxi checklist. Before taxi checklist. Check clear. Before taxi checklist. Complete. Clear left side. Clear right. Runway entry procedure. Check. Clear Cabin crew, left. take your seats. Clear right. Ready to go. Take off. Check. The rust set. Eighty knots. Check. Positive right. Gear up.
takeoff checklist. After takeoff checklist, engine bleeds on, packs auto, landing gear up and off, flaps up, no lights. After takeoff checklist complete. Cabin crew, prepare for landing. Don't set our um, minimums, or not our minimums, our altimeters. Checklist complete. Cleared. One thumb. Check. Landing. Check. Five hundred feet, command, flare arm. Approaching minimums. One hundred. Minimums. Approach lights. Thirty. Twenty. Yeah. Speed break up, reverse is normal. Sixty knots. Water break, disarm. Lights and doors. Check. Cabin crew, disarm doors and cross check. Captain, master caution, electrical. Doors disarmed, APU on the bus. That's three minutes.
joining us. Well, that is the end of this video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Back and prepared with the NJX2. Not sure what the next video will be. I have purchased the A330 um, Professional with the FS Crew as well. Um, and uh, yeah, I'm, I'm not sure. We'll see what the next video will be. Hope you guys enjoyed, and until next time.